Hello friends, welcome to another Vlogmas episode. I am going to be picking out today my to watch list for December uh, when it comes to my anime list. And this is somehow, spoiler alert, uh, similar to last month's uh, wherein I pick out from this uh, very full still um, pieces of paper of all of the anime random pick to watch depending on the color of the genre. And we're going to pick out uh, 25 this time. Um, I still don't have my wrap up for like my November anime list. Um, uh, look forward to that in the future. But still, this um, is going to be like me catching up because I didn't have like a lot of titles that I've watched for the month of November because I was very busy. But today we're going to pick out 25 titles from this. Hopefully, um, they are like not as long as. 100 or more episodes. So we're going to uh, be uh, filling out the numbers. I put this like randomly because I wanted this to be like a advent calendar sort of situation, but I know that it's not going to happen because nobody is going to make this like list for me anyway. So what I am doing, like adding to the challenge is that whatever order I pull them out, I am going to uh, write them based on the number and I'm going to have to watch them in order, like what you do in an advent calendar. So that's the challenge for this. It's not only me picking out like 25 random titles, but also have to watch them in order. So I'm going to put this to the side first. And then we're going to pick my in frame. Yes, I am. So I'm going to pick this um, randomly. I, I really don't care anymore what I'm going to pick out. I'm just going to pick from the bottom so that uh, it's not something that I can see immediately with the color even though I'm like looking at the ceiling while I'm doing this. So first one is yellow. There's a lot that I have. First one is yellow which is shonen or adventure. Oh this is season two. Disastrous Life of Psyche K. Um, it is a like gag humor psychic supernatural anime i really like the first one and this is actually a fun anime to watch and very uh, also quite long i think it's like 25 or 26 episodes so that is the first one we're going to like transfer that information later in our um board here second one i'm going to pull from this side it's a purple a purple is supernatural so that's something that i am interested in uh, but this is not uh exactly it's a visual prison i don't know if this has an ecchi um, or or was I thinking of prison school? I forgot. Um, is this the vampire one? So uh, another like sort of challenge for this for me is that I'm not going to be looking at the synopsis at all for these um, because I have not like reviewed a lot of like I have 300 plus uh, titles of anime in my to watch list and frankly to be perfectly honest um, half of them I have no idea what it is about. We have is this um, lavender? I think this is lavender. It is slice of life or comedy. Police in a pod. So it's a detective story, I believe. A detective slice of life story. Um, we're going to go through this faster because there's 25 and we're just number four. Is Pink Isekai Fantasy. Jobless Reincarnation. Season 2. I haven't gotten around to it, but we're going to do that now. Another Isekai Fantasy. This is... So Unlimited Blade Works is like the summary version of the anime series. I have watched the series. I have not watched the movie just yet because basically the story is the same. But I really enjoyed like the Emiya Shiro storyline. So we're going to watch that. This is a brown one which is sports probably. This is the gymnast or like Red uh, Run with the Wind. Oh no, it's Love All Play. So it's um, tennis. Right, um, yeah, it's tennis. Uh, two, four, six. We have six. A very long way to go. Orange is horror, psychological, or strategy. Oh, I have watched this already. So, yeah, um, there are uh, times wherein I have like watched an, a certain anime, but they are still in this pool. So, this is our first one that is actually um, something that I've already watched. So, it's Ayakashi Japanese Classic Horror. This one of like my favorite, like drama supernatural uh, horror and uh, it's three episodes long it's more of like the samurai era um and ghost stories and like the drama and romance with that so i really recommend it if you're into those like classic horrors this is peach wherein it is drama or romance oh my god link click is link click even like finished airing um 
I don't know, I just saw this in like Bilibili one day and wanted to like watch through it because the art style is quite pretty. So I added it to my to watch list. Next, another peach. We have Restaurante Paradiso. This is something that I have been putting off, but it is a slice of life esque um, gourmet anime and probably drama. So I am looking forward to that. We have two, four, six, eight. Next is Lavender. I, I'm starting to confuse Lavender and White. Um, slice of Life comedy. We have Frame Arms Girls. Uh, or Frame Arms Frame Arms Girl. This is a... Um, relating to like m tiny mecha um, figures that they um, like build and they are like alive. Like a doll. And I remember watching a few episodes of this with my brother um, in the past. So I wanted to like finish it. And next, we have our 10th one. It's a pink again, Isekai Fantasy. The recognition of the strongest exorcist in another world. Oh my god. It, this is like the moments wherein you just realize that all of the Isekai Fantasy ones um, starting to have like longer and longer titles with them. So am I still in frame? Yeah. So those are the first 10. Now we proceed to the next 10 and then 5 more after that. We have a peach, drama, and romance. Sasaki Tamiano. Okay, uh, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with that romance. Um, it is a BL anime that is very pretty. I have seen the art style and my friend is quite obsessed with it. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Yellow Shonen Adventure again. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? This is also like fantasy. But I placed it with Shonen uh, Isekai. Uh, shonen uh, Adventure, I mean. Because I tend to do this wherein if like a certain... Um, like for example, Isekai Fantasy is very much condensed i try to pick out like for example it's an isekai fantasy but it's also like um mystery or it's also like comedy i will put it in another genre just so that we don't have so many pink ones in my um pool of stuff to pull out we have another um shonen adventure keep your hands off Azuken. Uh, i don't know if i can grab a copy of this actually but we'll we'll check we'll check if there is like some place i could watch that we have wyatt this is white. Uh, it is an advent. Um, it is action. Uh, the false faces. I have no idea what this is, but if it's an action, it's probably something that I'm looking forward to watching. But as I said, the challenge. I will not look at the synopsis of these. Fun that I haven't gotten like a blue or a. Um, there are a little red here, so the red is probably like um, spy family. Speaking of blue. Mystery Suspense, uh, Beautiful Bones. This is one that I've also found um, randomly while I was looking for another uh, anime and found it interesting. So that's one. It's Peach, again, with the romance drama. Nodame Cantabile. This is a music romance. Um, I have seen um, some episodes of this when I was younger, back when Animax is still like up and running. Uh, we don't have cable anymore. So Nodami Cantabile is probably something that will, will hit my nostalgic feelings. This is Lavender again. We have Slice of Life comedy. Daily, live of high, daily Lives of High School Boys. Okay. Um, so this is one that my friend recommended. And it's like a comedy, um, low effort, low brain cell sort of watch. It's going to be a quick one. It's, um, it's fun. Um, I will probably get like the meme references now as I am going to watch that anime because it's like a very memeable anime. Another blue, we have Mystery Suspense again. Ergo Proxy. This is another one that I'm not sure if I'm able to find a copy of. But this is like um, Mystery Suspense but also kind of um, sci-fi, I think. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, two more and then the last five. Pink. It's a kind of fantasy. Ascendance of a Bookworm Season 2. Now that's something that I really am looking forward to. Ascendance of the Bookworm. Um, this um, bookworm or like a girl who really loves reading any type of books got isekai after her death during an accident and she was born into a medieval world wherein books like only exist with the nobility and she decided to make her own like paper, make her own book. Like if books don't exist in my world, then I will have to create it from scratch. So it's like a very crafty sort of isekai fantasy. Why? We have another action. Eden's Zero, Season 2. Now, I'm not particularly um, in on like Eden's Zero as much as I love Fairy Tale because they are from the same creator. However, um, I'm going to try. Um, 
I believe season two is done for like a few months now. So we'll we'll see to it. Um, it's like on the lower end. I still have like a lot to go through before that one. But that is like the last, like the 20th, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, like the 20th. We have five more to pick from this. I'm worried about my memory, uh, my phone memory as of the moment. So I'm like picking this real quick. Last, um, next we have Drifting Dragons. Drifting Dragons, I think, was recommended to me by someone. Um, this is also like a fantasy, um, like Dragon Trainers, I believe. So that's another one. Next, another action, Durarara. Something that I have been putting off, but I guess it is time to watch that if I got to the end of this uh, whole challenge. We have a purple one. This is Supernatural. No! Uh, should I? Can I? Will I? I really don't want to watch um, Gegege no Kitaro again. Um, this is a very long anime. Around, I say, 60 plus episodes. And I'm currently sitting on episode 7, and I'm really not in the mood to watch this. Um, at some point, I will try to watch it, but as of the moment, I don't think, with like with a lot of stuff going on around here, like some of these have like 25 to 26 episodes each as well. Disastrous Life of Psychic K is long, Durarara is somewhat long as well. Um, so I am going to hold this off. I haven't like skipped for like the entire, um, but well, last month I, I did skip one. Um, the uh, with relations to like the honor student at uh, magic school or something because I haven't watched irregular at magic high school yet so I'm going to put this to the side first I'm going to get to this but just not this month so I'm going to put Gegege no Kitaro to the side um, and pick out another one hopefully that is not as long as that one Isekai Fantasy Welcome to Demon School Irumakun now I do have like a certain uh, idea for a challenge brewing in my head of like watching every anime wherein a voice actor voiced a certain character in. So one of them is actually um, um, Ayumu Murase um, and also like Kakihara, of course, and some of my favorite Japanese voice actors. And like watching like some of these in advance will help me like knock out some of the titles and only have a small pool of um, shows left that they have voiced from that are kind of like obscure or like underrated. So two more. Peach, romance, drama, Komi can't communicate. Okay, fine. Um, I've been holding off with this um, because I wasn't really interested, but it's in the list. It's in. I picked it out. I've already passed up one, so we're going to watch that. Still haven't gotten the red one. The red one, I, as I've said, is probably Pocos Udon World, I think, and um, Spy Family Season 2. I haven't watched that yet. Last, certainly not the least, is an Isekai Fantasy, and it is The Eminence in Shadow. So that's something that very good to end on actually i've been looking forward to watching this because my friend says that it is good i'm going to return gigi no kitaro here and i have to double check if i'm in frame i am s s totally not in frame sorry um the camera is a bit higher up than usual so that's why i can't really see but I don't know where my camera cut me off, so I decided to just transfer over the information that we have picked out to the notebook. And this is how our board looks like. Um, there's a lot of like jumping around um, here, but it's going to be very fun. I'm probably going to put like a sticker or something once I have finished, like an actual like uh, board game of some sort. But yeah, here are all the 25 uh, anime that we're going to be watching for the month of December. You can follow along if you haven't seen any of these or if you've seen some of them but still want to follow along. You could like pick out something to exchange the one you have already watched. And thank you for hanging out with me today. I am very excited to watch these titles actually and um, we shall see how much progress I am able to make with these titles. And that is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. So until then guys, take care and bye.